show starts in one minute. This is Victor Lasso, video team number one. An extension of free press, the underground newspaper, the 60s, the underground magazines and themes of the 80s. This is the 21st century version for the 21st century that has yet to appear. We're supposed to be in this great new world, something. Hey, can we just have one more kind of hurry? Louis saw the film there.
Stop it for a second. Brewing Company of New Orleans, brewers of regal, genuine lager beer, the finest beer in the land, present the finest program on television, Crusade in the Pacific. Long ago, when these ancient Grecian temples were new, hemp was already old in the service of mankind. For thousands of years, even then, this plant had been grown for cordage and coarse cloth in China and elsewhere in the East. But now, with Philippine and East Indian sources of hemp in the hands of the Japanese and shipment of jute from India curtailed, American hemp must meet the needs of our Army and Navy as well as of our industries. In 1942, patriotic farmers at the government's request planted 36,000 acres of seed hemp, an increase of several thousand percent. The goal for 1943 is 50,000 acres of seed hemp. For to grow hemp legally, you must have a federal registration and tax stamp. This is provided for in your contract. Ask your AAA committee man or your county agent about it. Don't forget. Rams plagued by fumbles as earthquakes rock Los Angeles. Film at 11. New from Barker Brothers, a game for the entire family. Scott Free. Your team has just assassinated the president. Can you get away scot free? Shake the dice and see. Go again. Bonus card. You get Jack Ruby to kill your Patsy. That's good because dead men don't talk. Oh no, Abraham's Bruder films the assassination. Tough break, but now you go again. And a stroke of luck, 22 material witnesses die of unnatural causes. Now your opponent shakes again. Uh-oh, look out, Life Magazine buys the Debruder film. But you buy Life Magazine and show the frames out of sequence. You're almost home. Now you must spin the public opinion board. You've done it, the public believes it. You're Scott Free, available from Barker Brothers. sold your last case of incense and pestered over 60 pedestrians. After a grueling day, you finally run out of leaflets. Now, it's willer time. Time to kick off your sandals and pop open a willer. The best taste in beer since 1892. When it's time to relax after a tough day, you owe yourself the best tasting beer you can find. It goes down easy. It's cool, refreshing, and far less filling. Hari Rama, Hari Rama. You're only reincarnated six or seven times in life, so you've got to reach for all the gusto you can. Willer. are triumphs and disasters, the pattern of life's changing fabric. Here is great journalism. This is what we've been waiting for, Mr. Knox. Now, Mr. Knox, if you'll just step over here to the sink and drink this. Well, if you say so, Doctor. Harmless enough. <laughs> Just like water. Well, here's to my help.
But the AMA was a small trade association without political clout, and the balance of medical power remained equal until the turn of the century. Then, new medical treatments emerged that were potentially very profitable. Promoting these methods, the AMA joined with strong financial forces to transform medicine into an industry. The fortunes of Carnegie, Morgan, and Rockefeller financed surgery, radiation, and synthetic drugs. They were to become the economic foundations of the new medical economy. Ironically, John D. Rockefeller himself used only an empiric homeopath while investing in allopathic medicine. Surgery became viable with anesthesia and infection control, and doctors advocated expensive radical operations. These in turn produced the need for a large, lucrative hospital system. The allopaths also discovered a new toxic mineral, radium. Radium fever swept medicine. The price of radium rose 1,000% almost overnight. Another costly technological industry entered the hospital system. A drug industry grew out of the booming patent medicine business. Ironically, many of the new synthetic drugs came from plants and empiric remedies. Drug company ads boosted the revenues of the AMA journal 500% in 10 years. The doctors changed educational standards and licensing regulations to exclude the empirics. Soon, only AMA-approved doctors could legally practice medicine. In a brief 20 years, the AMA came to dominate medical practice. Organized Medicine launched a media campaign to associate the empirics with quacks. The code word for competition was quackery. Westinghouse and good old GE. They own networks from CBS to CNBC. They can use them to say whatever they please and put down the opinions of anyone who disagrees. Or stuff about PCBs. What are PCBs? They come from electric power plants built by Westinghouse and GE. They can give you lots of cancer that can hurt your body. But the big shots don't care. They're all sitting pretty thanks to corporate welfare. mystery on its hands. The official explanation here is that jet contrails are causing strange lines in the sky and that it's pollen making people sick on the ground, but others are convinced it is something else and they ask, is the government experimenting with our weather? And it wasn't long before things ballooned into a sky-high mystery. The story is not just here in Crestline in the alleged yellow cloud. People say the government is up there in airplanes spraying all kinds of chemicals to change or manipulate the weather, leaving what you see there, and they call that a chemtrail. Chemtrails. On the Internet, they are cited as proof of the government creating clouds to combat global warming. At the heart of a phenomenon called chemtrails, now getting widespread attention. Well, tonight, Gainsley News 12 investigation reporter Jeff Farrell shows us the results of testing we had done about what's in our skies. Uh, it seemed like some mornings it was crossing the whole sky. They were just, it was just like a giant checkerboard. Bill Nick like a normal contrail. Soon after, he barium is a hallmark of other chemtrail testing, which even attracted attention from a Los Angeles TV station. There's already no shortage of unclassified weather modification programs by the government. But those who fear chemtrails could be secret biological or chemical testing on the public point to the 1977 Senate hearings in particular, which confirmed 239 populated areas had been contaminated with biological agents
between 1949 and 1969. Later, the 1994 Rockefeller Report concluded hundreds of thousands of military personnel were also subjected to secret biological experiments over the last 60 years. But could secret testing be underway yet again? I'd rather it be something inert and benign, you know, something that's, you know, not causing any damage, but uh, I'd like to know what it is. KSLA News 12 discovered chemtrails are even mentioned by name in the initial draft of House Bill 2977 back in 2001 under the Space Preservation Act. But the military denies any such program exists. Jeff Farrell, KSLA News 12 reporting. And, you know, it turns out until nine years ago, the government had the right under U.S. law to conduct secret testing on the American public under specific conditions. Only a public outcry repealed part of that law, with some exception. Mittlerweile deutet alles darauf hin, dass ein Militärexperiment die Wolken verursacht hat. Und jetzt hat ein neues Gebilde offenbar Kurs auf NRW genommen. Was das bedeutet und welche Rolle geheimnisvolle Düppels dabei spielen, Pavis Kosravi verrät es Ihnen. Kampfjäger der Bundeswehr manipulieren unsere Wetterkarten. Diese Vermutung von Bonner Wetterfröschen ist jetzt bestätigt. Unheimliche Geisterwolken mit einer Länge von 350 Kilometern tauchen plötzlich auf den Radarschirmen auf. Allerdings nur auf dem Wetterradar. Einmal im Sommer 2005 und einmal im März 2006. Die Bundeswehr hat mittlerweile zugegeben, dass sie im März eine Luftkampf